Hi there, this is Maher Haddad. So in uh, this lecture, I'm going to explain to you what is the lab that we are going to work through this course. And I'm going to start making the first configuration on the first device, which is the Microtech router. And then we go to the switches in the upcoming labs. So let's go directly and start with the explanation about the lab scenario. So this is my lab scenario that I'm going to work through on all this course. I do have a Microtech router here and I do have here three switches, switch one, switch two and switch three. So the idea is as following. On this Microtech router, I'm going to connect the Ethernet one to be able to have Internet. And then we have to consider that this is just a network or a small company that we are going to configure and we want to propagate the VLANs using the MVRP protocol. So on this router, I'm going to configure under the interface Ethernet 2. I'm going to configure VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN management, which is going to be on VLAN 99. I'm going to put for everyone an IP address and enable the SCP server on each of those VLANs. And of course, I have to make NAT to allow anyone who is part of those VLANs to be able to go to the Internet. Then finally, on this router, I have to enable MVRP, meaning that I want that this router propagate those VLANs and send them to the switch one, telling them that we have those VLANs. Now, on switch one, what I'm going to do is just, I want to check first if uh, the VLANs have been propagated. And then I'm going to uh, put this interface, this interface, and this interface, Ethernet 5, which is connected to a computer. I want to put it in a bridge. So I create a bridge interface, and I put inside of it those three interfaces, Ethernet 2, three and five and then after i do that i have to uh, check if uh, the vlans has been uh, cr created and then also i have to enable mvrp why i need to enable mvrp because i also want to inform this switch as well about the vlans which are normally 10 and 20 because 99 is going to be for management but also we have to see what we need to do with this VLAN 99. Then this switch as well should receive the VLAN. So again, I put Ethernet 3 and Ethernet 4 in a bridge. I enable MVRP. And then this switch can propagate the VLANs to switch number 3. And we do the same. We put this uh, and this interface in a VLAN. And uh, then that's, uh, uh, sorry, in a bridge. And then that's what we need to do. Now, at the end, what I want to do is just I want to make this PC on VLAN 10 and this PC on VLAN 20. And I want to see if this PC get an IP from the DHCP server, which we created on this router and able to go to the Internet as well. This is on VLAN 20. I want to see if it gets an IP from this DHCP server and be able to go to the Internet. Then in this case, we know that the uh, VLANs uh, are being correctly propagated and uh, everything is working perfectly. So this is all what we need to do in uh, this lab. Let's go now and start with the router configuration. And with the configuration, you will understand more about what is the scenario that we are going to work on. Point number one, enable the SCP client on uh, interface Ethernet 1 and check if the router is connected to the Internet. Let me put the picture and let's go directly to the Microtech router. So this is the router. First of all, let's see that we are running here, if you look up, version 7.16.2, which is the latest version for this time. And if you want, you can just go to system and go to resources. You can see it is on version 7.16.2. So it's over 7.15. On all other switches, also, we have to check that but this is now just a router all right very good so now um, we need to enable the uh, dhcp client on ethernet one um, okay so it's already enabled so all you need to do is just plus and then add ethernet one dns ntp and default route 
and that's it so now it's enabled and we can see that it has received an IP address it has received a route a default route this one and it should also receive a DNS very good let me just put here a public DNS and uh, now if we go to the uh, ping google.com we can see that it's able to go to the internet so that's what we need to do point number one is done point number two create the same for us here to create the uh, vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 99 under the interface which is ethernet 2. as i have explained in the explanation that we need to create vlans under the interface ethernet 2. okay let's do that so we go to here and then uh, we go to the interface and we create the first VLAN, which is going to be VLAN 10. Remember, it is under the interface Ethernet 2. You can see we have here MVRP is shown, and this is because we are running on version 7.16. So anything over 7.15, you see MVRP. Otherwise, you wouldn't have seen MVRP on the oldest version. Very good. So let's make here apply. And we create another one, which is for VLAN 20. And then apply and copy. And we create the last one, which is the VLAN 99. Apply. And that's it. So now we have three VLANs running under the interface Ethernet 2. Point number two is done. Point number three, we have to set IPs on the VLANs and configure the HTTP server. Why we need to do that? Because we want at the end the PCs to be able to get IPs from the HTTP server. So let's do that. So I'm going to say this is 10.10.10.1, .10 .10 this is 10.20.20.1, and this is 10.99.99.1. So I'm going to configure IP address for VLAN 10. 10.10.10.1 slash 24 this is going to be for VLAN 10 and then copy 10.20.20.1 this is going to be for VLAN 20 apply oh, sorry here we should take this up apply so this is slash 24 apply Okay, so let's see that yeah, this is good and then finally copy 10.99.99.1 slash 24 that is going to be for VLAN 99. Okay, let's have a look. This is okay, this is okay, this is okay. Now we created the HTTP server for each one. We start with VLAN 10. So anyone who's connected to VLAN 10 as an end device, then he get an IP from this VLAN interface. So this is the DHCP server. Let's put here a public DNS. Okay, that is for VLAN 10. We do the same for VLAN 20. And we do the same for VLAN 99. So VLAN 99 just is this for management. So if you want, we can just add here a comment and we say that it is for management. Or maybe it's nice that we can write it here next to the name management. Okay, so this is for management. Those are for data. Very good. So we have created the, or we put the IP addresses on the interfaces and we have made the DHCP servers. Point number three is done. Point number four, configure NAT uh, on uh, the router one. Why we need to have NAT? We, because we want the, those PCs, when they get, get assigned to VLAN 10 or VLAN 20, to be able to go to the internet. So how to do that? You just go to IP firewall, 
and on the NAT tab here we can say that source NAT anything which is going out from interface Ethernet 1 is to masquerade. So this is the NAT rule that we need to create. Point number four is done. Point number five, now we have to enable MVRP on VLAN 10 and 20. Why? Because I want that those VLANs 10 and 20 to be propagated from this router to the switch one. You can look at the picture, so you can see that there is a switch one connected to uh, router one. So I want that router one tells the switch one about the VLAN 10 and 20 via the MVRP. So how to do that? We have to go from here to the v interfaces. I'm not going to enable MVRP on v 99 because this is for management. I will create it manually on the other switches. So why is management? Because I want also to be able to reach the other switches on a different VLAN when I want to make some configuration on the switches. So how to do that? We go to the VLAN 10 and then we just enable MVRP. Again, remember your router OS should be over 7.15. So this is done and on V920, just that like this, you just enable MBRP and we can see both they have MBRP enabled. Point number five is done and uh, with this uh, point I have finished uh, this lab and uh, this uh, first uh, lab uh, which is uh, how to configure the Microtech uh, router. So we have uh, created the uh, VLANs. We have assigned them IP addresses, DHCP servers, NAT, and then we enabled the MVRP on VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So this is all what we need to do on the router side. Now in the upcoming lab, I'm going to start working on the switches. So see you in the upcoming lecture.